Today I'm going to show you a simple technique for transferring your photographs or sketches to watercolor paper using your computer as a light table. There are all kinds of ways to transfer photographs and sketches to watercolor paper. Many people use carbon paper, they'll use light tables, they can tape them into a window and transfer them that way. But one thing that's often overlooked is that your computer or your tablet can be used as a light table. We all have one at home, so there's no need to go out and spend more money. You can use a laptop, you can use a desktop computer with a separate display, you can use a tablet like an iPad, you can even use your big screen TV in your living room if you can connect your computer to it. So here's how we get started. Most of my photos I take on my iPhone and they automatically synchronize with my photo library on my laptop. I've got a 27 inch monitor plugged into my laptop here and my iPhoto library is up and running. So let's choose something fairly simple. Here's this very cute herd of sheep drawn by my friend Jess. So you can see it's a very high contrast image. I think from the sketch I traced it to make the lines a little bit darker using a Sharpie and then I took a photograph of it with my iPhone. So I bring it up and solo it full screen and I bring it up to about the size I want. Today I'm using a Fabriano 140 pound cold press paper and some low tack painters tape. And it's as simple as lining it up on your computer screen and taping it into place and as you can see now I the lines come through my paper and I can sort of resize it to place it exactly where I want it to be and I'm ready to go. So today I'm using a, uh, a very light pencil a 4H it's four hard so that my lines aren't going to be very dark on my paper. And we simply just start tracing. Of course, the larger your monitor, the larger the watercolor paper you can use. Like I mentioned, I've had some success actually using my 48 inch big screen TV in my living room by connecting my laptop to that. And then I was able to do a full 22 by 30 sheet of watercolor paper. And there you have it. Now it's as simple as removing it from the screen, removing your tape, and I'm ready to paint.